Oh, I'm not to say any more about that, but you're right. It took us half an hour to get going, and um, that of course makes a uh, makes the game more difficult. Eh? So, uh, first time supporters here for a long, long time. Obviously, create an atmosphere, and we helped pull them a lot to to create that atmosphere. Actually, um, they obviously played different to the way they usually play. A lot of direct balls, a lot of the cheek, high balls, second ball fight, these kind of things, and um, a lot of free kicks, these kind of things. I think there's a lot of set pieces in the first half. So that's how it is, but with the ball, I didn't like our game, obviously. Um, and But that with a lot of loud shouting from outside, from all the coaches, um, we could sort that a little bit in the first half, like for 15 minutes, the second half, then with the half time, it felt massively was it much better. And I think in the first half now, we could have lost the game. In the next 60 minutes, we should have won it. Um, at the end, we get a point. Yeah, that's it. Alison, back for you in goal. You said you could have lost it in the in the, in the first half. So, so you know, how, how important was he? How much did he keep you in that match? Oh, a lot, obviously, Ali. You could see in one or two situations that uh, he needs rhythm as well. But in the key moments, he was there. Um, sensational saves, obviously. And, um, yeah, of course, it helped us. Um, but the goalkeeper on the other side uh, had a pretty important job to do as well. So that's how the game was. Thanks, Ian. We haven't got any more hands up. I'm presuming people aren't using it if they're on smartphones or something like that. In which case, can I just ask about Joel then? Joel came. Ian, let me go to the Let's go to John Cross and then to Matt Dunn, I think. John Cross from the North. Hi Jürgen, can I just ask you please about the um, some of the decisions really? Did you feel um, uh, uh, as if that was a foul? I mean, the, the, the VAR uh, have said it was described as normal contact, um, Robinson on Salah in the build-up to um, Fulham's goal. Did you feel as if that was a foul having seen it? Could, could I um, ask for your opinion, Justin? For interest? I know he will tell me your opinion is not important. It's important for me just to know what you think. I, oh, okay, to, to be perfectly, to be perfectly honest, it, to be. No, 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 no. I'll be all right. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you then, and um, and and say I could see, I could see both sides. I, I didn't think it was the most blatant of all, um, but horribly sitting on the fence. You could, you know, you could see why it would have been given as well. Sorry to completely dodge the question, but I do think I do think your opinion is much more relevant than mine, Jurgen. What what did you think? You clearly thought it was. Both opinions are nil point nil relevant um, um, because this, the, the, we cannot change the decision. So it's a clear foul, nothing else. It's not a yellow card offense or a red card offense. It's nothing else. The player who passed the ball, who gives the assist, I think Robertson has to assist for the goal. Um, <laughs> with pushing gets an advantage and can gets the ball if he doesn't push more then it's a different challenge and more gets the ball it's a head the ball can theoretically still go in the box i don't know but we don't have to ask for that there's an advantage and it's not about how hard the foul is in this case it's just an advantage it should two hands while lee mason the we are says this is a, what was the exact words what we are, we are using? It, it's it's been described as a, a VAR clarification as normal contact by Robinson on Salah. <laughs> yeah, not sure what Lee Mason is doing at home, but that's not normal contact in football. Um, it's normal contact, yeah, of course. It's not a massive, it's not a real, not a big deal, but it's a, enough contact to get an advantage. That's why it's a, it's a foul, but we cannot change it. So I only spoke about it because you asked. And by the way, Joel Martip has a spasm in his back. So, a spasm. Um, yeah, we will see. We will see. In a moment, nothing else. Um, she gets. He got already treatment. Will get treatment, and we will see. There's, I think there's a chance for that. So. Right. Okay. So it's not that. It's not that bad. In 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 in, in those no, sort of terms. Not, not at the moment. Okay, John, if you can go on to you, um, uh, Matt Dunn, and then we could do, that'll be awesome unless we get any more hands, Matt Dunn. Hi, Hi Jürgen. Um, Hi. On, on the old massive injury and everything, um, is there a worse time to be struggling for centre-backs than when you're about to go up against Harry Kane and Jung-Min Son? Probably not. 
but we are not struggling with numbers on center back position. We have still, they are just now getting younger and younger. That's how it is. We still have center backs. Um, and um, today we brought Hendel on, on that position. So, situations like this. So, um, I, I actually hope that um, Joel is, should, will be fine, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then we have to find a solution. That's how football season is. Huh?